This is because for the first time since a section of Kalaris caldera collapsed and widened in 2018, lava has erupted outside of the lower most of the down drop lock. In contrast, all five eruptions that Kilaya produced since the end of 2018 have occurred within the deepest part of the caldera. As for the eruption which just occurred, it began at these points. Lava from these vents can be seen flowing towards the west, and as of 12 hours after the eruption's onset at least a square kilometer has been coated in a glowing orange layer of lava, adding an average of 2 feet thick of lava to the Halimomai crater. Sulfur dioxide and amp. Vong you might have noticed a strong white plume of volcanic gases rising from the eruption site, which had greatly reduced the visibility in the region. This plume can be a potential health hazard, so you need to stay upwind of it, as it contains fairly abundant sulfur dioxide. On day one of Kalaya's new eruption, 100,000 metric tons of sulfur dioxide were estimated to have been released leading to a volcanic fog known as Vog. This fog will probably dissipate over time, as the highest gas emissions and strongest lava output generally occur during day one of Kalaya's eruptions. Lava output will progressively decrease over time along with resulting sulfur dioxide emissions until its eruption finally ends. Although about half of Kalaya's eruptions since 1900 have lasted a week or less, some eruptions have lasted as long as 33 years in length. We do not know how long Kalaya's current eruption will last for, but I will speculate the following. Speculation The current eruption appears to have had a lower initial eruptive volume than the 12-day long eruption which began on June 7, 2023. Thus, the current eruption may very well only last for less than a 12-day long duration, but we do not know, it could last significantly longer. As a final note, I would like to thank this channel's channel members.